up, Aaron? Uh, with, with the way you guys have been winning these games, you know, uh, with 23 points collectively, the margin of, of uh, victory, what is it about you guys that makes you able to win these close games, and why is it always so ugly? <laughs> um, I would say probably because that's what we built off of, like being able to last four quarters, wear them down from the first to the end, like from the beginning to the end. Like we're going to play with the same intensity, same mindset the whole time. We ain't never going to fold. And so, like, throughout the game, I feel that we just wear them down over time. That's how we get it done. Uh, Chris Harris? Hey, Aaron. Uh, I'm curious. How often in his life do you think Derrick Henry has gotten picked up and carried anywhere? And uh, if you can just kind of speak to that specific play where you guys carried him across to get the first down and kind of how that aids the mentality of what you're doing. Um, I don't think Derrick Henry first off has been picked up too many times. And secondly, just that play itself, that was an amazing play. Like, that was just a direct reflection of who we are. And so, like, just us, we built off effort and finish. And so, that play there, that was complete straight effort from top to bottom, bottom to top. That was just straight effort. And that was a great play. Just a direct reflection of who we are. I'm curious, did Derek say anything to you guys after that? Like, holy God, you guys picked me up and care or anything like that. <laughs> It wasn't no words. It was just the energy that we felt. Like, we just, as you see in that play, like, we just turned up after. Like, it was just that juice, that feeling, that energy. Uh, John Glenn. Hey, Aaron. Uh, I know you talked a little bit about this earlier, but, you know, when, when you look at the kind of the numbers for, for you guys, not a lot of whole, you know, big stats pop out or, or anything like that, even though you guys have won four straight. But, I wonder how much uh, uh, credit maybe Mike Brable gets in this in this kind of situation for being one of the factors that that has you guys winning, you know, despite the fact that there don't seem to be a whole lot of, as I say, flashy stats about this team. Yeah, I just say that, like as I said before, it's just our culture, like that's that grimy culture that we never going to fall. We some dogs. We're going to go all four quarters overtime if we have to. We're just going to bring that same intensity we come out the game with all the way to the end. And we're going to try to wear you down, play after play, and you straighten in the mouth. Uh, Jim Watt. And Aaron, how, how much you feel like the run game, maybe getting a little bit of a groove uh, here of late, three straight 100-yard games by Derek, and you feel like maybe uh, best is yet to come? Uh, can you say that one more time? I said, how much do you guys feel like you're in a little bit of a groove here in the run game now? Three straight 100-yard games for Derek. And do you feel like the best is, is yet to come as you guys settle in? Oh, yeah, we're feeling, feeling good about where we're at right now because we're knocking at the door right now. As you can see, like, it's not just the best games offensively-wise, but we still there. Like, we we gradually getting there. We're knocking at the door and just in a matter of time, we're going to knock the door down just make sure I had that 200-yard game. Uh, Chris Harris. Aaron, playing alongside Ben Jones, how tough is he? And give me an example. <laughs> an example of how tough Ben is is this past Sunday. Like, Ben, he went through, cramped up in, I think, what, the first, second quarter. When I came right back in, next drive, had, got rolled up, knee issues. And Ben, like, he just, he a warrior, he a vet. He just, he, he went of a kind, like. I can't, I can't put in the words like how tough Ben is. Like he just went through numerous injuries throughout games, and he's still in there. Like no matter how he's feeling, no matter what he's going through, he's gonna find a way to keep going, keep fighting. You can't have nothing but respect for that. Uh, John Glennon. Aaron, I know you talked a lot about um, maybe maybe putting on a pound or two uh, in the off season. I'm I'm wondering uh, what you're what you're weighing in on around now, and and how how much of a challenge is it for you, who's not a giant frame, to keep weight on during the during the season? Um, right now I'm weighing about between the, in the two nineties, and I say it, it was it's been difficult my whole career, but I say this season like it's been a lot better. Like just. All that I have to focus on throughout the season is my diet, really, what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my system, how I'm getting it back into my system after uh, work days or after games and staying on top of it. What's, uh, uh, what's the reason you think it's been better uh, this season, just a just a better plan? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Better uh, meal plan I'm on now. 
That's the only thing that got me better this season. Uh, Jim White? Can, can you still do do the backflips? <laughs> yes, I can still do the backflip. As long as I'm able to run and move, I better do that backflip. Can anybody else in the team do that? Mm, I'm not sure. We probably got some skill guys, but I don't know about any big man. And how long have you been doing that? I've been doing backflips since I can remember, probably like five, six years old. And you taught yourself? Yep. You ever I had that? I done with Grandma Yard. You ever had a situation where it didn't go as well? You landed on your head? <laughs> Absolutely. Had many times. Like, that's just in the process of learning something. Trying to error. What's challenge on uh, Sunday against the Texans? Um, I say it's the uh, same challenge as any other week. Like, we're playing against them. Good team, it's a football team, professional athlete. So it just has to come out there and bring it and just be ready for anything they bring to us. All right, cool. um, Jim, you want to get us started? Hey, bro, bud, appreciate you taking the time. Um, just uh, just the way you play, the energy you bring, how much you feel like that's part of your responsibility to kind of fire the guys up and you feel like everybody kind of feeds off your energy? No, man, it's a good opportunity. No. Um... That's just who I am as a, as a, overall as a person. You know, um, that's just me every day. And, uh, you know, it's just a part of my routine, man. Ever since I started playing football, you got to be able to have fun while you're on the field and, man, make it a competition with your, within your teammates. So what I mean by that is, you know, just challenge guys to do stuff that, you know, uh, that you want them to do, it, but make it fun. Just like we run into the ball. Like you see Jeff, he flies around every day. So Jeff comes back and he says something to us like, no, he he said he's the fastest person on defense line. So now that's gonna make everybody else run super speed to go past him to try to beat him to the ball each and every day. And it's just that mentality of getting better and better uh, throughout the season, man. And, and over the course of time, man, it'll make each player that much better. Uh Teron. Yeah, what's up, bud? With, with the way you guys win these close games, and it's always ugly, you know, what is it about this team that you think allows you guys to just consistently win the way you do? Yeah, man. Like I said, it starts at the top. You know, uh, you got to be tough in this game, and you, you gotta you gotta take uh, take take your um, coaching, you know, uh, with a grain of salt. Put it behind you and continue to ride with uh, you know, a guy like Vrabel who's super tough. You know, he instills that in us every day. You know, he he gets a lot of guys who are on the field who he wants to be tough and who he thinks tough. So, you know, we got to live up to that atmosphere, too. And then those crunch time games, man, the toughest one always got to come out on top, you know. So you got to make sure you're in that mode the whole time. You may you may be bigger than me, stronger than me, but you ain't going to be tougher than me. Chris Harris. Hey, bud, how much uh, of an onus does the defense kind of put on itself while the offense is still trying to, you know, find its rhythm and, and put up points? No, um, no, just in that situation, man, we know we, we take it the same way each and every day. Uh, we go out, we try to make splash plays, uh, no matter how the offense is going. You know, it's a group, it's a group effort. You know, we want to play hand in hand. So, you know, the more times we on the, the more times we get out the field, is uh more times that they're on the field and they're able to make opportunities out of those situations. Uh, John Gunner. Hey, Bud. Uh, this is probably a little bit like um, uh, Teron's question, but um, uh, you know, what do you say when uh, uh, you know some people are saying, "How how are they doing this? How are they winning four games in a row? How are they four and two When when you look at the stats and and nothing really pops out necessarily for you guys. Man, you got a bunch of goons, man. A bunch of goons on the team. Uh, goon head coach. <laughs> no, that's just what it is. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody want to win, man. Everybody putting into their mindset to go out there and just play for it all. You know, don't leave nothing on, don't leave nothing to look back for it. You don't need nothing to look back at. And uh, you know, each and every day waking up like that, you know, you're only gonna put fuel on the fire. Uh, while I'm waiting for if there's anybody else, do you uh, we be watching the game on Saturday? Oh yeah, well we just we we probably just win. But you know that's that's just what we do personally. So, uh, you know, I love Sundays, but you know, ever since Kentucky been going crazy, I love Saturdays too. And you know, uh, cats by forty. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, I'm gonna jump in with one, but too. You, you talk about a bunch of goons on the team. What what does that mean exactly in your mind? What what is a goon on the football field? It's the same thing as 
The same thing it is in real in real life, you know, it's on the field. You know, uh, we go out there, we trying to hit people in the mouth hard as we can. You know, they gonna try to hit us opposite, of course, but you know, we just gotta be the one to get the last punch. And we gotta make sure all our punches count. And uh, you know, each and every day having that mindset, man, to go out there and dominate and be dominant. Uh, you know, just they just bring energy and effort. So, man, we wanna go out there each and every time we step on the field, man. Like I said, you may be bigger than me, you may be you might be stronger than me, you might be benching six hundred pounds, but you ain't gonna be tougher than us. So, you know, you gotta have that mindset each and every day. All right, I think that's all we got for you. Appreciate your time. Uh, can I go? Can oh, I yeah. go one more, bud? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of videos we see after games. Uh, you know, with Rabel kind of uh, welcoming you guys back to the locker room uh, off the field. Uh, what's he say in those moments, and what's it maybe mean to guys when they see maybe how much it means to him and how appreciative he is of of the effort you guys give? Yeah, those moments, man, are special. Uh... You know, it just shows that coach. He, he's he's a player. He's been a player, you know, in his league for uh, numerous years. Did a great did a great job. So you know, it just shows the appreciation that he has for the game and the players involved. And he knows guys fighting through injuries. Uh, and guys just want to leave it out on the line, man. He sees it, you know, firsthand because he can tell, you know. So man, he, he just takes pride in that, man. And it, and it's and it's he it takes it personal for himself too because he was once a player, and it just means that much more to him. Hey, what's the challenge this week against the Texans seeing them for the first time? Uh man, you know, you know, the, the Texans are always gonna be a, a team, you know, the stats should have a good old line up front with starting with the tackles. Uh uh the running back is emerging. Um, you know, you know, guys are coming along well, man. We gotta go out there with our mindset, man, that every game is a big game. We gotta go out there and take this as another division game. And uh they're gonna come out with that, they're gonna come out swinging hard at us to try to beat us. So we gotta make sure we're doing the same thing. And last one for me, you talked about Simmons, but to, for a guy that big who runs to the ball like he does, I mean, does he remind you of old school, an old school player, anybody you've been around before? Or what do you think of his effort when you see it? Man, yeah, man, he reminds me of like Cam Hayward down, man, in Pittsburgh. Uh, those guys are both tremendous, um, you know, power players, but they know they still get after the ball, they still get to it, um, you know. Being, you know, Jeff has a lot of sauce to his game, man. He can do a lot of moves. He can rush on the edge. He can rush from down the middle of you. He can be on the edge too. So, man, he's just one of those, you know, one of those special guys, man. And he loves the game of football, and he never wants to be outworked. So, you know, it's always fun to be on the field with him.